back up the partition to save your data unmount the file system to no nobody is writing ensure nobody is writing and check black level errors and fix if any resize the file system size before reducing the lvm size then reduce the lvm size mount it back and use it please subscribe to the channel thank you hi friends welcome to free online tech videos my name is Ravi in this video session we are going to see about uh, LVM radios how we can reduce the LVM size without losing the data so in this video session I am going to show you so first of all here I have uh, one partition which is 9.8 GB and the data size here so I do not have much so 37 MB is used and uh, currently in this data partition I have some files so many files I have here right now if you want to reduce this file system size okay I am currently in that data so to verify that none of the users are using or none of the applications are using uh, just uh, run lsof command on that partition specifying that mount point and um, which will show you that who are the users are using the data so currently i am into that partition that's why it's showing the name as somebody is using so who is using the root name and what are the process ids here which is using so you can currently kill the processes are so which i know that's why i'm just exit from that data partition and repeat the command again and verify that okay no open files so now there is no open files so we are good to go with unmount unmount, com, unmount command and uh, unmount the partition of data 01 unmount the data partition and now run error check e2 fsck iphone f slash dv data is the vg name and data one is the lv name just run it verify that there is no block level errors there's nothing okay it's consistent okay and the data is good the blocks are all the blocks are fine now here what we have to do is that we have to reduce the file system fast before reducing the LVM size we have to reduce the file system size so why you wanted to reduce the size here because so how the scenario is that so I have the data partition like this in this I have all these file system here until 9.8 GB so all these file system already there so what is the file system size here I have 64 I have here so this is total partition size is 9.8 GB so now if you suddenly what you did if you reduce the file if you reduce the size of the disk then what happens which is already having the file system here are some files here then if you reduce directly then what happens the file system is going to be corrupt so to avoid that what we are going to do is that 9 GB from 9 GB what we are going to do is that we are going to reduce the file system first until like this so this is the file system I am going to have this is the file system I am going to have in this partition and this is the partition which is none of the data is there are no file system here so which is almost 3 GB or 3.8 GB something like this this is the partition I have so if I delete this partition sorry if I reduce this part this portion no problem because nothing is there inside like that what we are to do that what we are going to do now here we are going to reduce the size resize 
two FS and uh, how much size you would like to reduce first of all provide the LVM complete LVM path and uh, 6G now the file system is going to be reduced to 6 GB now run radius LV radius and type and uh, I'm going to reduce the partition to 6 GB slash DV data and uh, data one so which is going to give you me and that uh, reducing the active logical partition to the 6 GB this may destroy your data okay that's okay no problem now I say yes and the file system has been reduced to 6 GB and mount the file system back slash DV data data 1 and to data 1 partition and verify that there is a partition to 6 GB and go to data 0 1 and verify the file system all the files are there so there is no impact uh, successfully reduced our file system from 9 GB to 6 GB this is what you have to do to reduce your LVM size but be careful this partition reducing is not going to work on uh, uh, XFS file systems because XFS is not uh, meant for reduce okay you can run this same procedure on uh, ext2 file system and ext3 file system and uh, ext4 file system thanks for watching stay tuned for more updates please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask